we are back again with a Sturmy Archer. Um, this time we're going to try and do a full service on it. This hub is an AW from 1972 and uh, well, as you can see it's C solid. So we're going to try and fix that. Um, we're going to try and unseize the hub. Uh, I don't know how difficult this is going to be without the wheel on, without the rim and whole thing built. We're going to try. So, like first is all as same as before. Got to just pop all of this stuff off here. Then we've got to take the non-drive side off. Okay. Why is the spring here? That is strange. I have no idea why that's on that side and that way up. And now we've got to try and um, get this whole unit out. The problem with this is going to be we haven't really got a wheel to hold on to. Um can try and grip the casing somehow, but we've got to try and unwind this whole unit from the casing. Best thing to do is grab a punch and we're going to try and get these two notches to unlock. And after a, uh, a week in WD-40, we can uh, carry on. So the thing with this, You've got to remove the whole body, which I think I've probably already said before, if I have cut this out. This body was pretty much... I want to say C's, but they're generally very, 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 very tight into the body. Uh, they're both going to be steel, unless you've got the... Uh, they did do some alloy hubs, like in the 50s. Um, but you're going to need a right-sized punch or chisel that fits in those flats and then you're going to need to give it a good whack. Now I've already loosened this off so it will spin out but that took a good amount of hammering, like a good amount and like I said it was in WD-40 for a week soaking the whole thing so we're going to remove this whole body And there we go, all that dirt and grease on there. Okay, we're going to strip this down now. But before we do, might as well clean this out and then service the bearings which are on the other side, um, which you would have seen in the previous video. Okay, so I think a lot of the problem was from inside of here. Um, in the bottom, hopefully you can see, In the bottom is the ratchet mechanism um, and all around the bottom there was rusted. I've had to chip a lot of it out, I've had to uh, try and get some wire wool down there but it's still pretty rough. Uh, so I'm going to get a Dremel down there and see if that will take any more out because um, I want all those little grooves for the ratchets for the pools to be smooth or to be clean. So um, yeah, get my Dremel down there and uh, see if we can clean, no, clean it up a bit more. But before that, or after that, or whatever, 
we're just going to go on to actually doing the whole mechanism. So this is the internal gearing. Um, this whole unit here, which is, consists of sort of the ratchets here, which are seized in for the um, uh, for the sort of the freewheel mechanism, the coaster mechanism. Um, inside this part is all the gearing. So first, we've obviously got to get this top off again. Um, it's the same as the sort of bearing surface surface surface. So it's just one lock nut on top, a lock washer, and then we can remove the, I'm pretty sure this is the clutch, a clutch sort of mechanism. One lock nut, one lock washer, one cone, and then the clutch. And strangely, all the bearings look actually pretty good inside. It's just the um, these pulls all around the bottom where it was seized, where it's rusted, that oh, they are rusted. They're going to take a bit of work to get out. Um, well, there we go. So you just pull this off, which is the uh, the lock ring. Oh, go away. So this has got all the bearings in again, like the other video, so we can surface those. And can service those individually. Refer to the other video for those. Now, never taken. Well, I have taken one of these apart before. Inside here, we have one set of pulls, another set of pulls, or another pull. We've got some in the bottom. If we lift this off carefully, it reveals the internal gearing. So this is all how it works inside. Um, like I said with the indicator chain, pulling up to change the gear, this is how it does it. Screwdriver, it just lifts this up and down and changes where it's sort of engaging. Um, so we've got to take those off. You've got to remember which way they go around because once you take this one off, there we go. So take that top one off. Remember that it's got the, uh, the cut out on the bottom. And then you've got a little pin that will go through. We'll poke it at the back. So this little pin is what changes all the gear in. And remember the cutouts are on top. And then we can remove this one. So that is the cutouts on top. And it has a little bushing in the middle, which obviously just goes through there. So they need to be all cleaned up, degreased. Now we can remove this whole assembly now as well. All the planetary gears can come straight off. And then that just leaves you with the axle. So it's got the sun gear on the axle and this just needs to be thoroughly cleaned. And then we can go on to just servicing all the individual parts. Right, so we'll start on the um, half rusty top section. All we've got to do really is clean this up and do the pulls which are still moving. They are orientated a specific way. So you've got a little spring, actually let me zoom in. Okay so they've got a little spring which is just there and if I turn the other one around there's another one there. So there's a little spring on them and that will loop around the pool. And if you check the orientation of them, inside they've got a profiled surface on top here. And then on the back, there's not really much of a profile. 
So you've got to make sure those profile surfaces are inside. And there's a short profile on the outside which will engage with the pools on the uh, top bearing race. But to get them out, all you've got to do is very carefully try and lift the pools. <laughs> now I don't know if this is going to work because they, they are moving but they are rusty. So we've got to try and get something in there to lift the pool up. There we go. You can lift the pool up. And pull it out. Sorry, the pin, not the pool. And we can take this out together. Drop it on the floor, there we go. So you've got the spring. That went in. So that went in with that profiled surface on top. In there. Got to remember which way around they go. And we're going to try and get the other one out. And now again carefully, so we've got the downward part on the back. Okay, so it's time to clean all this up. I'm going to degrease the pulls, degrease the pins, going to clean everything up with a bit of wire wool as well. And then I'll get back to you. One heavy dose of cleaning later, and it's all good to reassemble. So I've used uh, white spirits uh, thinners to clean everything off, degrease it all, and then thoroughly gone around everything with a wire brush and some wire wool, cleaned everything up and it's removed all the rust, cleaned down all the channels and it should be good to reassemble and it's all had a coating of um, just some of the sort of muck off MO94 spray, some Teflon spray just to protect it all so to reassemble we've got to... Whew, this is going to be tricky with my fiddly fingers so if we remember the direction of the pool, so we've got to have the surface, the profiled surface there inside. We've got to have the spring on like that. Can I get that to stay? There we go. So you've got to have it looping back. And now, <laughs> We've got to somehow get it in and locked. So before I do that, I'm going to put a bit of Phil Woods Tenacious Oil just on the pin. So when we slide that in, it will be lubed up. There we go. That's how it works. Pull goes through. Get ready with the pin. Try and find the hole. There we go. Drops in. Number two done. And that's all it takes to just do these pulls. Just take them out, clean them up, drop of oil and they're working again. So we'll put that to one side and then um, we'll do the main body. But that's really good. They've got, they've got good action on them. Now the main unit. And um, well, as you saw when I took it apart, this was the worst part. Uh, the planetary gears still spin. However, the pools at the bottom were seized and that was because all of this surface had a, uh, well, basically stuck to the inside of the shell because <laughs> this is where the um, the ratchet for the shell comes from. Now these pools need a lot of work, they need a lot of cleaning. Um, they do move a little bit, but not a lot, not a lot. So first, 
we're going to take the planetary gears out and that should just be a pin in top that pulls out and then slide the gear out and these pins are going one way so they go with a small diameter on top and now that they're out I can gain a bit more access to clean the pulls if we flip it over work the same way as the other ones so we're going to press these out if they come out because all this area around the top is rusted so these might be a bit difficult to get out there is one way I can do it <laughs> I've got the little gap in the, uh, in the vise this should break it free yeah, there we go. Easy. Same with that side. Back over and uh, pull those out. Okay, pins are out. So I have to remember the profile section on the pin goes down. And as for the pulls, where's the spring, where's the spring, where's the spring? The spring is on the bottom, right, the spring is on the bottom. So if it's this way up, this is the bottom of the hub anyway, technically, I mean this is the non-drive side. But when you go up this way, the spring is going to be on the bottom and it's hooked over that side. And we've got the lungs, it's hooked over the lung side. So we've got the short side this side, the lung side that side. Any other distinguishing features? No. So we've got to really clean these up. Okay, a lot more cleaning to do, and then I'll join you for the reassembly. Okay, a lot more cleaning later, and we are just about done. <laughs> I've uh, Notice they've got some flats for where the pools go uh, and I just ran a file around just to clean everything up. I've cleaned up the pools, cleaned up the springs and I've cleaned up the pins so far. I've still got to do the planetary gears. So first, one thing I noticed is the pools have a little profile on them and that has got to be sticking out and this way up. Also the springs, if we remember, we're on the bottom here. So we've got to have the profiled surface out, the spring on the back and on the bottom. And when that goes in, that is hopefully going to go in there. <laughs> Very awkward. There we go. That is hopefully going to go in there. And when I have the pin ready, I'll properly the pins, the uh, springs just flicked off, so make sure that doesn't happen. So we're going to put some more oil around the pin. There we go, got it. So you've got to really watch that spring because it keeps on wanting to slide out. But it works. It works now. There we go. All that cleaning made it work. Perfect. Got to put the other side in. Straight in. There you go. Does that work? Yeah, that works. Okay, so the pools are done. Perfect. Okay, so all the planetary gears are now cleaned and we can uh, get to installing them.
just flip these over and make sure those pulls don't pins don't fall out. So we're just going to drop all these pins in. Going to drop the planetary gears in. Remember the pins go with the smaller profile at the top. Just going to put a bit of grease around them. That's got to go through more, there we go. And that, my friends, is all free and moving now. So we can assemble the whole hub. Okay, so do you remember how it goes back together? So we've got the axle, sun gear, I'm just actually I'm just going to put a little bit of grease just around here. Little bit, it's, it's oil, not grease. And then we're going to get this planter gear set and drop that over the top so that locks into place. And as I spin it round, I'm just going to put a little bit of oil just on top of the planetary gears so it sucks them in and that feels good and then if I remember rightly we're gonna have the little sections here to drop on so I'm actually just gonna put a bit of grease around here or oil sorry again slide little space around just pop a bit of oil on there just a little bit slide the clutch on you got your pin slide your pin through There we go. That will sit all together like so. Now the secondary unit is going to sit over the top. And that should mesh with the planetary gears. And then on top of that, if you're holding the pools, you can drop that one in and listen to them work. And I've uh, cleaned that all off and uh, re greased all the bearings, by the way, which was in the other video. Now slightly different to how it came apart because this spring should have been on this side. Pop the spring over with the top cap. Get your top bearing race, which is all greased up and drop that in. Foam washer, wind that down. Got your lock washer and your lock nut. And now all this should be ready to go back inside the hub buddy. Hub buddy in place, all cleaned out, the bearings are done on the other side as well. I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, oil just on top of this pool here because that is the bad section in the bottom. There's always an oiler port just on the side here. 
that we can use. That's it, okay. So you gotta turn it slightly anti-clockwise to start with to drop the pulls into place and then you can thread it in. <laughs> but before I do that, sorry, I just wanna put a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of grease oil on the threads. And then we're just gonna pinch it up so it's tight. And that seems good. Awesome. So just a few more parts left to put on. I'm just gonna wind this lock nut back on. Lock nut, cone nut. If it threads, remember this is the sort of adjustable side. Listen to that sound. No play in that, happy with that. That might be a bit too tight there. That's better. No play, but listen to those pulls now engaging. Beautiful. It's music to my ears, that. Dust cover. Spacers. Cog. <sighs> Lock ring. And to finish off. Oh, I haven't got the... Um, I need one of the, how do you describe it, profiled nuts, just to get one first. We got that, and that is done. I mean, you saw that hub was seized, <laughs> and now look at it. So in drive mode, I love the Sturmy Arch tick. That like even when you're just riding, it's ticking away. I love that tick. And then when you're freewheeling, pulls work. Everything works. Brilliant. So that would be good to go. That would be good to work. It wasn't actually as complicated as I imagined. Um, Keeping all the parts separate, working them on, working on them separately, it was it was it was actually quite straightforward. And these old hubs, the engineering in them, designed to last. That's why this AW hub has lasted for so many years, unchanged. So happy with that. Um, and I hope you enjoy this little video. I uh, hope it'll be useful to someone because uh, actually that was that was quite a pleasure to do. The only difficult thing was actually disengaging the mechanism from the body, that was tight. The rest of it was pretty straightforward. So yeah, get out and uh, service your own AW hub and get that beautiful Sturmy Arch tick. So drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, drop a comment if you did, thumbs down if you didn't. Um, always looking at ways to improve, so drop a comment if you've got an idea. And uh, 
If you like this content, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next video.